Marlena Moore is suing funeral home director Malcolm Morris for the return of money paid for funeral services and punitive damages for emotional distress. Malcolm is countersuing for unpaid fees. Ms. Moore, you retained the defendant to do the funeral service for your son who was a crime victim. Yes. When did your son pass away? April 9th. 2018. And on what date did you first see the defendant? I think it was about the 12th or 13th of April. And did you sign a contract with him? We had a verbal agreement. And how much were you supposed to pay? Do you have a signed contract, I sir? I have a contract. May I see it, please? I wasn't aware of a contract. Funeral directors usually have a signed contract. It's usually not a verbal agreement. Yes, you signed a contract. Here's okay, the contract. I wasn't aware of... Can I see that? Yes. Okay. I didn't recall So you had a contract with him. I understand Ms. Moore has... I'm sure it was a very difficult time, but you had yes. a contract with him, and the total cost of the funeral was $3,923. The family paid $1,200. The balance due was $2,723.10. There was a supplemental payment made also, Your Honor. Complete pay sheet. Who made the other payment? Both payments were made by the deceased grandfather. Can I speak? Yes. The reason why we're here is because... No, 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 we're here for several reasons. We're here because you're dissatisfied with the service, which you didn't pay for, and Mr. Morris is counterclaiming for the balance that is due and owing to the funeral home. I'm here because the agreement was paid $1,200 for up front. No, Ms. Moore, let's understand each other. This is the contract that you signed. I'm not going to hear from you who don't even remember signing this contract, which you okay, did, because well, I, I compared... Okay, well, I just had a death, so I don't remember. If you don't remember, that's fine. You signed a contract. This was your contract. This is what you were supposed to pay. You didn't. You didn't pay it. Somebody paid it on the family's behalf. That's fine. But there is still a charge owing on this funeral bill that you have to pay. Okay, and crime victim unit was paying him. I filled out an application for crime victim. Whenever there's a victim in our state, they paid, they paid everybody back and also him. And he knew that because he filled out... Just, 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 be There's clear. a crime victim's application. Just a second. Don't give it to me. Not interested. You signed a contract to pay for a funeral service. Did you get any money from crime victims? They were waiting shh, to hear shh, from the... Just a second. They were waiting to hear... Just a second. My question is, did you get... Did you... I assume that you are his only heir, or did he have children? He had children. Well, then you're not his only heir. Do you know whether crime victims paid any money to any of his children? I talked the to them the other day. Oh, so you don't... The answer is you don't know. They haven't done it yet. No, okay. they haven't. Okay. You have to pay Mr. Morris the money that oh, you owe him. Okay, what about my pain and suffering? 1023. It's a very bad time when you lose a child. It's always easier to be angry. It's not ang being angry because of the child. I'm angry because... The day before the funeral, he started calling people, demanding money, telling them that my son's body was coming out the casket. Okay. You owe him $1,023. Judgment on the counterclaim. We're finished. Thank you. Excuse you may step out.